With more than 350 million users, Facebook is a networking powerhouse, connecting friends and family all across the globe. Well, in her new book, Facebook Fairy Tales, Emily Liebert presents 25 true and inspiring stories from the social networking site. Today's Sarah Haynes has more. Hey, Sarah. Hi, Al. Having started as today's online correspondent, I know a lot about Facebook fairy tales. I sat down with the author and my Facebook friend to learn how Facebook is literally changing lives. Facebook, it's a cultural revolution. It's changing the way the world communicates in a really fundamental way. With all these hundreds and millions of people connecting around the world, there have to be some amazing stories coming from this. Stories like Seth and Melissa's. We got married in 2005. We start, tried to have a family from the beginning. But after months of trying and rounds of in vitro fertilization, Seth and Melissa were still unsuccessful. Each time it didn't work, it was, you know, sad. But this time we were like, this is going to help us. This, we're going to have a family through adoption. And after creating a blog and adoption flyer, Seth tried something on a whim. I put our flyer up on Facebook. Not too long after, we heard from an individual who said, I think I have an employee who is eight or nine months pregnant, and I know she doesn't have a plan for her baby. And a few short weeks later... It was such a fast labor. I swear, in 20 minutes, he was born. He just immediately felt like ours. Immediately. He is the best baby. You'll come out of nowhere and into my life. For Chris Hughes, Facebook was his baby, conceived in a Harvard dorm room in 2004. Mark, Dustin, and I were all roommates in college when we co-founded Facebook. Given how quickly people uh, uh, came to Facebook and started using it, it was pretty clear that we'd tapped into something. And that something would lead Chris to one of the most groundbreaking presidential elections in history. The Obama campaign was about using that type of technology to build a movement, a movement for change. It's been a crazy ride. And perhaps more importantly... You learn pretty quickly that it's not just about building a website. You know, it's about enabling people to live their lives more fully. A lesson that newlywed Sarah and Michael are living proof of. We met, actually, at, uh, at summer camp. We totally made out. I don't know. <laughs> I don't actually know how to say that on national television. Cut to 17 years later, while checking out Facebook with a friend. I said, oh, you know, here's Michael Cohen, and we sort of clicked on his profile. That really, of course, was the initial spark of, wow, you know, he looks great, he still looks great. And after two friend requests, we started chatting and reconnected. And finally, the ultimate change in relationship status. The rest is history. We definitely would not have reconnected if not on Facebook. Three fairy tales, each with a modern day twist. And one quick status update, Seth and Melissa are looking to adopt baby number two. The flyer is already up on Facebook. That's pretty oh, cool. Right. Thanks. Thanks. Good and if stories. you want to read excerpts from fairy, Facebook fairy tales and for more on Seth and Melissa's adoption story, log on to the Did you meet your boyfriend on Facebook? No. <laughs> <laughs> Another form of stalking, but not electronic. Okay. <laughs>